Hey guys, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make a Polaroid test pack for when you go to thrift stores or yard selling. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to build a test pack to take with you when you go to uh, thrift stores or yard sales or whatever if you're looking for a Polaroid camera. It's always a good idea to test them before you buy them. At least I like to try. So here's an old empty film pack that we used up and the batteries are usually still good for quite a while. Uh, the new Polaroid Originals batteries are really decent. Um, so you have an empty film pack. I kept one of my dark slides and I wrote test on it so I know that this film pack is not a new film pack. And I got a couple pieces uh, or slides of film that um, were wasted because I had a camera that did not work. The shutter was stuck. So you do run into that once in a while. But more than likely if you use this test pack, you put it in, it auto ejects the dark slide take the picture and it spits out another one of these and the flash fires and all that, more than likely the camera works, but you do run the risk of the shutter not working still. But that is very rare. So like this camera here I found at my local um, Goodwill, kind of thing for a minute, and um, I only paid $4.99 for it and I had a film pack here I'm going to show you how I made to test it before I even bought it. So here's your empty one. Uh, you can rip off this little bitty door here that's still on it. Don't need that. And don't need that piece. You also can take off this black piece of silver thing. That's what was uh, guarding the light from getting in, which we don't worry about that anymore either. And it should just peel off. Pretty simple. Still want the tab on there so it's easy to get out. Make sure the big door here is still intact because you need it to stop each slide. If not, it's going to try to push all the slides through and you'll damage the camera. So all you'll do is take a couple of your images, push down in the center, and insert it. There you go. Make sure it goes over it. Push it all the way in until it stops again because there's a lip back here you got to try to get it under. Keep pushing a little bit on the front and just lightly tap it or push down just very lightly and it'll get it go in there. So I always like to have a couple frames in there. So let's do another one. Just push down again and get it started. And it should slide over it. Same thing when it stops. Keep the little pressure on there and just barely touch it. And it should slide on in. And I always like to do a dark slide. And I know which way to insert your dark slide is that little piece right here. That always goes towards the back. Same thing, just push a little and it should go up in there. There you go. And like I said, it's got test on there so you know it's a test. So let's take our camera here, open it up, open the film door, insert your film pack like you do any other time. Now when you shut it, it should auto eject your dark slide. There we go. That's a good sign when it does that. So let's charge up the flash. On this one here, it does not have an external light. The light is actually built into your viewfinder. So I'll bring it up here so you guys can see it. It's red, and when it shuts off, it's charged. And you also should be able to hear it wind up, as you know the old charges do. So there you go. Wait for it to turn off. It did, so that's a good sign. Let's do a test fire. And there we go. There's an image. I always like to do a couple, just make sure nothing's stuck. Wait for it to wind up again. There you go. So that's a really good sign your camera is going to work. Now what you can do too is after I've done the two test fires, there's, you can still fire it up until it gets through your counter of 10, because what the old film packs used to have. Let's do one without the flash, like in the store so you're not making too much you know, scene. So this one has a two buttons here. Don't push the front one, push the one back here. And let's see if we can see the shutter open and close. And it did, so that more than likely 99.99% .99 of the time your camera's gonna work just fine. Always inspect your rollers. Those look good. And I would buy this, which I did, and I was very happy with the purchase, it works great. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
And also check out the, my description. I always put some links in there. Um, and I'd like for you to use my link for Polaroid Originals because that helps get me loyalty points and it gets you 10% off your order. So thank you guys again for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.